You think about what engineers needed to do in the last generation, it was designing for safety and it was designing for cost and it was just function. A generation ago there was certainly much less um, mobility, the way people got their information, the media was much more restricted and the roles of engineers I guess were more straight line, so things have changed now. That means that we need a fundamentally different kind of engineer. The ones that we were training in the last generation are not appropriate to the challenges that we have now. It isn't sufficient nowadays to just go and deliver a project to the bare minimum. A project now, especially public projects, they're expected to be sustainable and ideally have quite a good positive impact on that surrounding community. We want people to understand what the user wants and that's what you get out of the people in their sort of humanitarian space, they're understanding what's from the user and the companies really value that. When you put engineering in context, it can sometimes be a bit messy um, and, and it's complex. And I think an EWB engineer approaches it, um, that complexity with, with optimism um, and with an openness to learn and to adapt. I think the EWB engineer is different because they consider the social impact of their work and how it really affects humans rather than just the nitty gritty of the calculations. They've got a better interest in things outside of their normal day to day work. Um, they're passionate about helping other people. They're self starters and they're confident to ask questions and really think about the impacts of the work that they do on communities. The environmental context, think about the cultural context, the social context, and really understand those people that they're working with. A big part of what Engineers Without Borders does is teaches empathy to people. Engineers are all about solving people's problems. And how can I solve your problem if I can empathise with that problem? I need to understand your life, your issues, if I'm going to solve a problem for you. My perspective on my career has changed since joining EWB. I definitely want to focus more on community orientated roles and ensure that we identify community engagement as a key recommendation with developers who have that control. For me, it certainly changed how I go about things at, at work myself, as well as being sort of an agent for change. If we think about the Engineers Without Borders Challenge, it's the first thing they do when they come to Swinburne is I'll take an engineer for that board still. I haven't even trained to be an engineer yet. They're already coming up with a solution for someone in another country. And that's a really exciting experience. It forces them to be creative right away. I think the future of engineering as I see it is one where a really diverse group of engineers work collaboratively. I think people will create change in the engineering sector. Um, which people will create change? I think EWB engineers really embrace the, the complexity and the uncertainty that our current workplaces are facing.